Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a makeup haul for you. But before I proceed with the haul, I have two announcements to make. First off is that my mini giveaways is still ongoing and I'll still be randomly picking a winner every 100 subscribers that I get and that's till I reach 1000. For the 300 subbies, I'm going to give away an Inglot lipstick which I'll be showing you in this haul. And for my second announcement, I'll have a new blog really, really soon. I'm so excited for that. You may not know, guys, but I have a current blog, and that's www.makeupsuite.blogspot.com. And I've had it even before I started this YouTube channel. You may want to take a look at it before I take it down for the launch of my new blog. As a matter of fact, I'll be having a mini photo shoot with me and my dogs for the blog pictures. So enough of that, let's proceed with the haul video. If you are interested to see what's in my haul, please keep on watching. But before I start, I'd like to get this out that I am in no way bragging. I'm just so excited to share with you the things that I got from the past week. As for myself, I sincerely enjoy watching other YouTubers make a pause because for one, I get to know the latest collections from different brands. And I'd also like to know if something is worth getting for my collection. But if you are easily offended by this kind of videos, you're free to exit your way out of my video and thank you for dropping by my channel. To start off, I'm going to show you the things that I got inside this pink bag. Ako, I got an idea of what to get from Top Boutique from their Instagram. Instagram account. Nakita ko yung Christian Lubutan lipstick nila which I've been looking for for quite some time now and this is the lipstick. It's the Christian Lubutan um, Velvet Matte in the shade Rouge Lubutan. Packaging pa lang winner na as in it feels very luxe and when you open it, it looks something like this. The lipstick bullet by itself feels very heavy. It has a heft to it and it feels very very luxe and I'm going to take it out for you. So when you take it out of the box, it looks something like this and you can wear this as a necklace because it has this lace that you can tie around your neck so that I am. Mukha na siyang necklace. This is the cap and this is where the lipstick comes in. You have to twist the bullet and here's the lipstick. So this is the shade that I got. This is in the shade um, Rouge Louboutin. This is their, I think, the iconic shade. Because as you may know, Louboutin shoes comes with red soles. I got curious and I compared it to the soles of my Louboutin shoes. If it's the same shade because this is called Rouge Louboutin and uh, does not look the same. So this is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now and it was my first time wearing it and you don't need the lip balm to put this on. I can say na konti lang yung laman niya kasi when you open it fully, ito lang yung laman niya. The next thing that I got from Top Boutique is this Ben Nye Matte HD Foundation Palette that comes with 12 refillable colors. I've been looking for a palette that I can use when I do others' makeup and ganito siya, open natin siya. When I open the packaging, it comes with this vinyl shield and it says, um, retain this vinyl shield. Lay this vinyl shield on top of makeup to protect surface. So I don't think I will be discarding this. And then the foundation comes in this tin palette. I'm going to open it for you. When I opened it, it has a foam and here are the foundations. Still has like plastic coverings that I will be removing. This is a nice mix of warm and cool foundation shades. I'll try to open one and smell it. Oops, hirap tamalin. Doesn't really have a scent to it. I'm so excited to try this out because it says it is a matte HD foundation and I'll be comparing it with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and my Inglot um, Perfect Cover HD foundation. By the way, I'll be putting the links and prices in the description box below so you can check out if you want to get something from this haul. And the last thing that I got from Top Boutique is this LA Splash Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ghoulish. I'm not good at describing colors, but I'll try to describe this. I think this is a neutral nude because some nude colors are warm and some are cool, but this is a neutral one. Now for my purchase, I got two freebies. Uh, both are facial wipes, dub facial wipes. Top Boutique is an Instagram account, but they also have a physical store in Tendesitas, and I think they also attend different bazaars. If you want to check out their items, you can go to Tendesitas. They have all of their on-hand items on display, and they also do a pre-order basis. Proceeding on with my next haul, I got some items from Carefree Shopper. Oops, balik tarin ko, nandun address ko. If you don't know, Carefree Shopper is an online store. Dun ko madalas binibili yung mga makeup items ko that you can buy here in the Philippines, and I got a few things from the shop. First off is this Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. Let's open this. Okay, what I got inside is a leaflet and the palette itself. Um, let's start with the leaflet. It's the usual leaflet that tells you how to do different kinds of looks step by step. So this is how the palette looks like up close. I'm going to open it. Okay, magnetic siya. 
these are all of the colors. So this palette comes with 12 eyeshadow colors, 4 of which are matte and then the rest are shimmery. And it also comes with a dual-ended brush. The next palette that I got from Carefree Shopper is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. This is the newer version of the Chocolate Bar palette. I'm going to open it. When you remove it from the packaging, it comes with the usual leaflet and then the palette comes in a tin can. Again, it tells you how to do different kinds of looks step by step. Here's a close-up of the palette. Actually, hindi ko pa siya na-open. Amoy chocolate na siya. And when you open it, you'll also get a mirror and the eyeshadows. I have read from reviews na amoy coco daw yung mga um, eyeshadows because it has coco in it, parang ganon. And these are the colors. This palette I've already tried using and I have it on right now. The last palette that I got from Carefree Shopper is this Lorac Pro Palette 2. It comes with a primer and then the eyeshadow palette itself. I'm going to open it. Here's the palette. Sobrang skinny nung palette ah. Then you'll also get the uh, lax sample of their eye primer. Here's a closer look of the palette. When you open it, oops. So this palette comes with 16 eyeshadow colors, half and half matte and shimmery. I'm putting them back in their boxes. I won't be swatching this in this video. If you want to see the swatches, I think I'll be doing it on my blog or in some other videos because it will take too long if I'm going to swatch all of them. Next thing that I got from Carefree Shopper is this Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop. This is very very famous in the YouTube beauty community and I got a hold of it. If you don't know, this is a collaboration between Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill is a famous YouTube beauty guru and I always watch her videos and then I was very excited for her when she announced that she had a collaboration with Becca because Becca is a really nice company. I'm sorry guys, but my camera can't give justice to how beautiful this highlighter is. It's a rose gold highlighter and what's good with a rose gold highlighter is that any skin tone can wear it. And I also got myself some brow products from Carefree Shopper, all of which are Anastasia. I'm going to show it to you one by one. This is their um, brow powder. I'm going to open it. Currently, I am liking Max Eyeshadow in Coquette as my brow powder, but um, I'm looking for a powder that's really meant for the brows. So this is how the packaging looks like. This is in the shade medium brown and it comes with two brow powder shades. Next brow product that I got is this Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade. And I've been wanting to try this for a long time. So I already got it in the shade medium brown. This is how the packaging looks like. This is a glass jar reminiscent of the packaging of eyeliner gels. So this is the product that I used on my brows today. And very, very intense. Sobrang konti lang na kailangan mo to do your brows. And of course, since I got different brow products, I also got the Anastasia Number no. 12 brush. This is their brow brush and dual-ended siya. On one end, it has a spoolie. On the other end, ito yung pang-apply ng brow products. Carefree Shopper was generous enough to give me some freebies and these are Anastasia Beverly Hill products and ang nakalagay dito, Mini Lash Genius Clear Waterproof Top Coat, Mini Clear Brow Gel, and Brow Fix Primer. Brow Primer. Ngayon lang ako nakarinig dun. So these are my freebies from Carefree Shopper. This is a clear brow gel. This is a brow primer from Anastasia as well. And lastly, ito hindi ko alam ko ano to, but it says... Last Genius. As always, pag ma-order ako, lagi siya nagsasama ng business card. This is a close-up. That's www.carefreeshopper.com.ph and the owner is Miss Army. Next items that I'm going to show you is from Makeup Forever. So, I went to Makeup Forever SM Mega Mall and got two items. So, I got the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Ito, marami ding nagkakagusto dito and I've been wanting to also try this for a long time. It has been raved by many and I'm going to open the packaging. This is a close-up. When you open it, it looks something like this. This is just a transparent HD powder, but I'm very intrigued because they said that this is very, very fine milled. Next thing that I got is their Aqua Brow or their Waterproof Eyebrow Corrector. This is a close-up and the shade that I got is in number 15. I want to try this out and compare it to a local brand because recently I got the Jazzy Cosmetics um, waterproof eyebrow thing also and I want to compare it with the local brand. Moving on with the things that I got from Inglot. So I went to Inglot's second anniversary sale in Sterling Place, Makati and sobra nakakatuwa because the products are really really discounted. Some are buy one take one and then some are up to 70% off and I got a few things. First off, I got a cream powder and I think this is a foundation, a foundation cream that turns into a powder. 
when it dries and I'm going to open it close up and when you open it next product is the Inglot Wise Impressed Powder Watch this powder during the sale and nagustuhan ko siya because it feels really really buttery. It looks like the packaging of the cream to powder but it's a pressed powder. When you open it, it comes with a sponge. So I also got lipsticks from the sale and I got the shades 192, 118, 130, and 256. So one of these is a prize for my 300 subs giveaway. This is a close-up of the lipstick bullet. This is the shade 192. 118 130 and this is the shade that I'm going to give away 256 So all of the lipsticks that I got are satin lipsticks dahil hindi ko na inabutan yung matte lipsticks The sale was from October 12 I guess 12 to 17 and I went there around Thursday or Wednesday sa schedule and wala na akong ganun inabutan ng mga shades I also got a brown mascara This is the Inglot Color Play Mascara And then lastly from Inglot, I got an AMC Eyeliner Gel. This is just a purplish blue eyeliner. Something fun kasi mura ko lang naman to nabili in number 83. So here's the receipt. Instead of paying 7,760, I only paid 3,044 for all of those items. Proceeding with the next makeup items that I got, I went to PCX or PC Exchange. I forgot the name of the store. Can Make Tokyo has been in the Philippines for quite some time now and I just went on and purchased some of their makeup items. So I got this Can Make Perfect Serum BB Cream and it says that it has um, skincare, base and foundation, UV shield, high coverage, and contains two beauty ingredients in it. I'm going to try this one out and it is in the shade 21. I haven't tried any Japanese BB cream yet. Well, aside from my Heroin Meek BB Cream, so I'm interested to try this one out. This is how the container looks like. Next thing that I got is a brush from Can Make, and they call it the Face Brush 01. I'm going to open the package. Inside the packaging, I got a brush, and then I think this is a brush holder. As I saw this in the counter, I think I really needed it. It's just a small face brush that's very compact. It has a short handle. And other than the bristles being soft, it is somewhat tightly packed so I can put on my foundation with this. I'm going to try this out with the BB cream that I purchased. Next is a blush. This is the Can Make Go Fleur Cheeks. But based on the illustrations at the back, you can also use the upper part for highlighting and then the lower part for blush. So this is how the blush looks like. It also comes with a very tiny brush. And then the last item that I got from Can Make is a Can Make Color Mixing Concealer. These are actually concealers that you can mix on one side of the palette. One thing that I noticed from this brand is that their packaging is really adorable and very cute. And I'm a sucker for really nice packaging. I'm going to open it. Ooh. Here's a closer look at the palette. It has a very, very tiny mirror and then as you can see, it has three concealer shades, light, medium, and dark. And then the dark shade I already nicked with my um, nails. Okay, so since I already nicked this palette, I'm going to do a swatch at the back of my hand for the dark one, for the dark shade. Well, this is a really nice coverage. I'm going to sheer it out and see. And the consistency is very nice. I think this one won't cake on my under eyes. It feels like a powder when it dries. So here's a swatch of the darkest shade in the palette. Since I've already mixed it, why not swatch it? So this is when you pack it on and when you sheer it out. This the essay was really nice to give me a freebie for my purchase. This is the Can Make Make Me Happy Fragrance Body Cream in Sugar Berry. I also went to the Clarence counter at SM Mega Mall and I got one thing. But the SA there was also nice to give me um, samples. I got the Clarence UV Plus Anti-Pollution. This is a sunscreen and it has an SPF of 50 and it says that it is oil-free. And together with my purchase, I got some freebies. Got the Lux sample sizes of their Gentle Foaming Cleanser for normal or combination skin. And then I also got the Moisturizer. This is their Hydro Quench Cream Gel for normal to combination skin also. Together with a few samples of their Hydro Quench Intensive Serum by Face. Next package are my lashes that I ordered from Digital Train Case. Digital Train Case is an online shop. So here's a view of the lashes that I got. 
So I got a few of my favorite red cherry lashes and I got two, four, six, eight lashes. I got the numbers 5, 2, 3, 43, 82, 118, 510, 117, and then two pieces of DWs that looks very wispy and natural. Well, since I ordered lashes, I also got an adhesive. This is the Duo Brush On Strip Lash. This is like your ordinary Duo Lash Adhesive, but it comes with a brush one so that you can easily apply the glue on the lash strip. This is not a makeup, but I got this body lotion while I was walking along the hallways of Mega Mall. It's the Kathy Doll Creamy Pink. AHA and Stem Cell Body Cream in the scent Romantic Sweet Pea. And what I like about these while I was trying this out is that it was easily absorbed into my skin. So this is an A plus for me because I don't like sticky lotions. Then lastly, I got myself some local brand makeup from the SM Department Store and Robinson's Department Store. I won't be showing this to you guys because I'll be doing a 500 peso makeup challenge. And if you want to see what I got, you have to watch that video. That will be a collab video with two of my YouTuber fans, Naomi and Eileen. So that's it for my makeup haul video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and I didn't bore you out. As always, thank you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!